Today we're going to look at another high yield topic, which is the management of obesity. Let's start with this question. So the correct answer here is refer for bariatric surgery. So this patient fulfills the criteria for obesity too, and then because they have other uh, risk factors, so the fact that this person has already got diabetes as well as hypertension, they've already lost weight with all this stat and behavioral changes, but they have not been able to uh, maintain weight loss. You know, they're not able to keep losing weight. Um, this patient would benefit from reducing their weight further and they fulfill the criteria. So let's look at some of the other criteria. First, let's look at the classification in the current NICE guidelines of obesity. So someone who has a body mass index in this range is considered healthy. We then have overweight, obesity one, obesity two, and obesity three. Okay, so obesity two and obesity three are the categories that may benefit from bariatric surgery. So obesity two, only if they fulfill these additional criteria. And then obesity three, all patients in this group may benefit from bariatric surgery if other measures have failed. And if they have a body mass index of 50 kilograms per meter squared or higher, you'd consider bariatric surgery as a first line option because of the very high risk of things like cardiovascular disease and so on for this patient group. So this is a really important topic um, and it's an area that people have struggled with in the past. So it is worth going through some of the other recommendations. So for example, you know, everyone should have lifestyle measures recommended, so regular exercise, healthy eating, you know, trying to lose weight over a prolonged period of time, but not going too far. So ideally they shouldn't be losing more than you know, one kilogram per week, anything more than that, the potential risks. Um, and if lifestyle measures alone haven't um, worked, then you'd consider adding in something like Orlistat if their body mass index is 30.0 or more with no other risk factors or 28.0 or more if they've got risk factors such as diabetes or if they've already got established cardiovascular disease and so on. So I hope that's been useful and do join us again for another episode of the 30 Day Challenge tomorrow. Thank you.